recording? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Charlene, and welcome to my channel. Hello, my thirsty. If you're new, you can press subscribe, and you can know where I'm uploading and posting new videos. Okay. Um, I'm so excited for next week because where I live is where we get to open the economy. I'm so excited. So I'm looking forward to that. And that means I get to go to chapters. So I'm looking forward to that. So I guess this video is going to be like a book club series. I did some book club videos, but I stopped and I guess I'm gonna try to get myself get into the spirit and get myself um doing book club videos. I know uh I love doing them and I wish should continue to do them. So I'm gonna do my favorite authors book club series. So I'm gonna do Kathy Glass because she wrote so amazing books and the book I first time read is finally completed while it's in quarantine. So I just really want to share it with you guys. Um, if you're not uh, familiar with Kathy Glass, she was uh, a foster mom. She adopted a lot of children in her home and she tried to raise him as her own child so i think that's where it got bitter and sweet so yeah so this book is really good it's about a three-year-old girl and about a one-year-old boy who was in a different hard and toxic home environment and they were taken away from their birth parents and they finally clean up the act and do better. So let's get into this video. I'm going to read the back. So please don't comment. Oh yeah, there's no comment because I don't, I have not want comments on videos because I just don't need comments. I don't need a comment say you need to do this definitely need to do that differently so I just have triggers for comments and um some negative comments so that's why I don't have comments for my channel so I apologize for that if I know some people are good people so you can comment on my tiktok so I will put the tiktok handle down below in the description box so let's Get me reading the back. So, <clears throat> it was a heartbreaking. A brother and sister torn from their parents and bought into foster care. Kit, 18 month old, had a broken arm, and his sister Molly, was three, was withdrawn and scared. The parents said they were to blame, apparently, to the date on their children. Could social services have got it wrong? If so, who caused the kit injury and why were the children in illness so often? The truth when it finally came out was unbelievable and far more shocking than I could ever imagine. So, some kids go into foster care. Some are good and some are bad homes, like bad placement. So, the first placement um they went into was they were sick all the time because the foster parents who had them was trying to poison these two. Like, they will try to poison their food. Um, she was not a good lady. Plus, she was sick with um, mental health. So, I'm not going to mention her name because it happened in real life. This is a real life book. So, the cool thing about it, it has all the stories, different stories. So, that's why I want to go to chapters. 
when they call me open. But it has to because um reading group discussion. So I will read them out loud and then I'll tell them my um thought and uh, opinion. <clears throat> so near the start of the book Kathy said that no one wants to take children from their parents. But sometimes there is no alternative if they are be kept safe, discussed. So from my point of view, if a child was taken away from their bio parent, that means the parent is have trouble with drugs or have a drinking problem or who is mentally ill, who never got help. So for my case, my bio mom was abusive, of course, but she did not have a good childhood or a good life. So she was, was abused by my great is and I'm not going to mention her name because it's just angered me that it's okay to abuse children. It's really not okay. And the other pro reason why kids can go into foster care is because if a parent passed away or a parent who has a disability, it's just a different kind of disability. So, yeah. So, I'll just read the next question and I'll tell them what my thought. We learned that sometimes children can be placed in care voluntary. In the what circumstance do you think what be possible? What is a general concern preferred to be a court or law? For me, I think if a home is really um, good in the outside, it has to be good in the inside. Make sure it's safe. Like, make sure you know first aid properly. Make sure you know how to parent. Like, you can't have a bad temperament. You know what I mean? And you have to show unconditional love. If you don't have that trait, you that's probably not a good placement for you. So that's not a good home. It has to be good in the inside and the outside. And a child is a human being and that child deserves to be happy in their mental health and happy in the outside and happy in the inside. So that's just my opinion. So when I thought about Kit and um and, and Molly, sorry, I just forgot her name. So Kit and Molly, they had a good second placement because Kathy did everything she could. So I'm really happy with the ending because it was an excellent story. I'll read the next one. Molly and Kat has only recently come to the alternative of social services. Should they have done so sooner? For me, I think they should have been, um, it's good that the siblings are together, but I think they should come sooner. So we will have like more proper care. So that's just my opinion. So yeah. And then next question. Foster involved the whole family. Does the roles of the family members include Kathy's mother? So yeah, that depends on the picture. Like if they had a aunt or an uncle or a grandmother and they're healthy and alive and don't do bad things that's great for me i didn't <clears throat> i didn't really know about my uncle i just found out 
last year, so she wasn't in the best mind to raise a child because he doesn't do bad things, he just was mentally ill, so he's getting better, so yeah. Next question. How do you see the role of guarding and lacking in a trial protection case? So, in, I don't know how to answer this question because I was a foster child, so I wouldn't know how to guarding at being a guardian because I don't have kids. I'm only 26 years old, but I tried to do my best if I was allowed to have children. If I would do my best making sure the home is proper in the outside and in the inside. So, yeah. But I don't know how to answer that question. Describe the character of Antesta and Flip. Kasha. Kathy intonation has empathy for them and it's grace. For me, um sorry I have trouble pronouncing their names, but Nesta was the villain for the happening and honestly yeah she needs proper treatment and help. But Part of me said, no, I don't think she should have sympathy for her. And Flip just went along with it. So, because you can poison children, that's not okay. I'll just read the other question. Kathy was upset and angry when she found out what Anessa had been doing, and but managing he made professional. How difficult that miss happen. Honestly, I will, for me, I will struggle because I love kids and I don't think kids should be in harm and danger, so, or abuse, so I don't find that right, but she probably have struggled. I'm guessing she was confused and shocked and angry about it. That's what she said in the book. So, I'm going to just leave that be. Discuss the nature of FDA Munch syndrome biopsy and what lead to person developing the illness. I'm guessing it'd be food poisoning or bleach or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a doctor, so I'll go with that guess. And that question is, and does the make accusation against Kathy? How vulnerable are foster care to be unfound and eligible by angry parents? Yeah, there's some, well, I hate to break it to you. Foster care is like unvulnerable anyway, and the system is unvulnerable. I don't think we're not taught what's good and what's bad in the world. And some people like manipulate you, some people will trick you, some people are evil. So I would suggest that you should learn your rights and your wrong earlier. So that's just it. <clears throat> Next question. The judge returned Molly and Kit home with supervised orders. Do you think it was correct decision and why? Um, honestly, for me, to be honest, it was a bullshit decision because Kathy did nothing wrong, right? And she did everything. She went to classes. She went to, um, did everything for the kids. She gave unconditional love. She went to first aid classes. So I think it's, and she went all the doctor visits. So I think it's kind of bullshit, but 
that does want to have supervised visits. So that's just my opinion of the book. And that is it. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and hopefully I will get another um, book by Kathy Class and hopefully I will read it and review it like I did for the instance. So I think it's an amazing story and if you want to foster a kid, please do it. Do you do it on the goodness of your heart? Don't do it for money because they're not bank fishing their kids. They deserve to have a good, happy home. So, bye guys.